Hello everybody, this is Jared, the non-alcoholic aficionado, and I've got Ryan, AKA MNNA beer, to help out with today's reviews of these Go Brewing non-alcoholic beverages. Next up, we've got the Profits Hazy IPA. It is number three out of four of the Go Brewing beers that we'll be reviewing in this series. So here we have it. Now I gotta ask again, Ryan, have you had this one? I don't believe so. Okay. I know I've had a couple others, but this isn't one. Well, this will be your first take. I'm gonna be interested to see how you like it. I'm not I, really an IPA guy. I forgot about that. You're a dark beer guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can appreciate them now, though, now that I'm not getting tanked on the alcohol content. <laughs> That's 7, 8% didn't, uh, that they, they sneak up on you. It didn't agree with me. Hmm. I smell fruit, a little, little fruit and hop smell. Citrus, that's actually pineapple, I think. Oh, I think you're right. I think you have to smell pineapple. Cheers. Cheers. There we have it. Hmm. I do, I think there is pineapple. There's no bitterness. At it's the not end. happy. No, you're, you're, the bitterness is not really there, you're right. Which is fine. Some people like to like mm, pucker their mouth when they drink a IPA. Yeah, I don't. So this is more my style. Yeah, it's it's almost like a light IPA. Mm -hmm. Not too hoppy, not too bitter. It's moderately hazy. I can't see through it really, but it's not right. like you know things like like Beagle Puss where you can't. It's like opaque, like a like almost whitish. This is kind of in the middle. Juicy. Yeah. I'd say like, I bet the Sam Adams, just the haze might be a little fruitier. Oh yeah, yep. Uh, but this isn't, this isn't bad at all. I'd say it's a, mm -hmm. three, and a three and a half out of five in that way somewhere, roughly. Yeah, it's really not that, not too shabby. Um, it says it has with Cryo, Cryo Brew One and Idaho Seven Hops. I haven't heard of Cryo Brew One. Neither of them. News to me. It's good though. I like it. Maybe for someone who doesn't uh, have much experience with IPAs, you could be like, hey, try this hazy IPA, and mm -hmm. you never know. Yeah. I think on like a scale of like hoppiness out of 10, mm -hmm. this is like a three or a four. Right. So if somebody was thinking, I wanna try an IPA, but I'm looking for something that, like you said, kind of get step your foot in the toes in the water, mm -hmm. it'd be a great thing to go with. But if you're like, for me being a more seasoned IPA, IPA drinker, um, there's other things I would probably choose in, instead of it. Important information. Yep, take it or leave it. <laughs> it's all for reference. And now to the rating for the Profits Hazy IPA. I'm gonna give this one a two out of five, which equates to I would buy it on sale. Uh, because it is a tasty brew, but it's not overwhelming on any of the levels of what I would equate to a strong uh, contender for an IPA. It's not super hoppy, it's not super fruity, uh, it's got a good bite, but overall, um, yeah, give it that, that two out of five range. How about you, Ryan? Yeah, I concur. Uh, it's got a decent fruit flavor, uh, it's hazy and such, but it's got no, it doesn't have too much uh, character personality. So close, but not close enough. Yeah, agreed. Well, there you have it. So we've got the Profits Hazy IPA, number three of four. You're gonna wanna watch for number four. It's one of the, uh, the special ones from Go Brewing. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to click over here to subscribe. And if you wanna watch the full playlist, the link is really easy to access because it's right over here. Thanks everybody.